Hey Capricorn, it's me, Alex, and I'm here to bring you your weekly tarot reading. I hope you guys are doing amazing. Let us see what the universe has for you, Capricorn. Just as a heads up, I will be taking the last two weeks of December off, so I will not be performing personal readings, but I will continue to publish videos. And speaking of videos for 2022, I am going to introduce a new uh, reading schedule, so please stay tuned. Um, if you are wanting to get updates as to when I publish videos and any sort of channel updates, please be sure to subscribe to my channel so you will receive notification. How many people are in this reading? Well, you got the Three of Pentacles, so you got the Knight and Two Pages. That Knight of Wands is struggle and perseverance and just having a hard time. But you're having a hard time because you have your guards up. Or someone had guards up with you. Mm. Yeah, look at that. Okay, what do we have for you, Capricorn? So... It's almost right here. I would even ask if you're ready for love, right? Because it's almost like you're going in, you're going into love with your guards up. Not only that, but I also kind of feel financially, you may not be where you need to be. Uh, a lot of you guys may be looking for a job, going back to school, in school. Um, yeah, it feels like you're trying to gain employment. This is uh, seeking and being curious. And with the Page of Wands, that's, um, mm, crap. I just heard that you're speaking things, but not kind of following up with your actions. Or if this is not you, this could be somebody you're dealing with, right? The Nine of Wands is almost like your uh, groundhog who's afraid of his shadow, his or her shadow. As in, you're not comfortable. Um, for some of you guys, you may not be confident. You may have issues with insecurities. And I feel like you have or had somebody in your life right now who's just the cat's meow, right? Um, and again, when it comes to the Knight of Pentacles, especially here with the Seven of Wands, it's almost like you really can't proceed with this person anyway because you have all of these wands holding you back, right? First is, you know, again, having your guards up may not, you know, again, being insecure or what have you, afraid of being hurt. And then it's almost like, you know, um, I just heard that for some of you guys, you may be struggling to get out of your way or even to come out of your comfort zone to be able to proceed into any sort of relationship. Yeah, you're trying to figure out how to get your money together. And again, it looks like a lot of you guys, like I said, this could also even be investing as well. Not only not only that, but with the um, Page of Swords and also the Three of Swords. I feel like you received some sort of heart uh, heartbreaking message. And I also kind of feel with the Page of Wands and you, Capricorn, as that world card. It's almost like you're looking forward to the next phase. I really do feel like you know you have some work to do, whether it's in inner work, whether it's working a career type of work, whatever that work is, um, Capricorn. I feel like this love, your love life, your lover, is kind of a, inspiring you to get your show on the road. You got the Nine of Wands with the Eight of Cups. Yeah, that's afraid of being hurt. That's afraid of letting your guards down. That's afraid of, you know, even falling in love or being, you know, um, transmitting love from your heart. But I feel like you had some sort of person instance, inspiration, enlightenment. It's almost like somebody came in and sparked your interest 
And I feel like what happened was you started to feel emotional and it scared the crap out of you and you ran for the hills. But I feel like you, again, repeating myself, you know you have some work to do. Two of Pentacles with the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, there are issues there with money. I also kind of feel like some of you guys are stretching money as well. As in robbing to Peter, robbing Peter to pay Paul. But yeah, you receive you receive some sort of message that rejected you. And now it's almost like you're trying to pick yourself back up so you can kind of move on to the next step, next phase. Oh, love yourself first. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nine of nine of wands. I feel like your ego, your self-esteem, self-confidence, self-value, self self-worth took a hit and you're trying to recover from it. Uh, forgiving and learning. Yep, yep, that healing. And flirt. I feel like that's what the um, Page of Wands is. And for a lot of you guys, I do kind of feel like the Page of Wands represented you being excited, you being happy. Pages are little kids, so it was almost like maybe you jumped the gun, maybe you... Um, went into something knowing, say, for instance, you weren't financially prepared and, you know, you received some sort of message or notification about heart a heartbreak. But look, reconciliation. So it looks as though I feel like that's what you want, Capricorn. You want some sort of reconciliation with your person. Always remember I'm referring to you, Capricorn, but the energy can actually be flipped around. The signs that we have here are Gemini, Leo, we got Virgo here, um, Gemini here, Capricorn, and Sagittarius. So you didn't show up as the devil, but you did show up as the world card. And I feel like that world card kind of represents lessons learned. Yeah, I really do feel like there was a lesson learned in love here for you, Capricorn. And the thing I just heard was put your money where your mouth is. Peaceful resolution. Abundance. There's that new job. Helpful people. That's that three of pentacles. And let go. And I feel like what you're letting go are all of those wands. And they're there to protect you, to keep you from getting hurt. But nothing about these two cards says... You know, every, excuse me, everything about these two cards says you are not giving yourself an opportunity to be hurt, first of all, because you got the guards up. And anytime maybe you start to feel something, you may not necessarily want to face it. You may want to preserve your heart, um, stay blocked up, stay locked up, whatever have you. But I do kind of feel like somebody came in real quick um, and showed you that your heart is still able to love. And it scared the crap out of you. Angels just said it scared you back into submission, which is back behind those guards. All right, Capricorn, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. If the reading does resonate, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you're interested in a personal reading up until December 17th, go to the About section of my channel and click the Schedule an Appointment. Love you, Cap. Bye.